In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four idea bulbs glowing effect options in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created these four bulbs. Okay, and how it works is when I click anywhere, the light comes, it glows. You can see here with the purple color, a combination of pink. I've given the gradient fill here, and then you can add your title and the detailed text. When I click, it will show the idea 2 with a different color combination than idea 3 and idea 4. Likewise, I have created one more slide with three options. So if you can see here, this is when I click the first option come, then second with the same color and third also the same color. So depending on your requirement, you can change the colors. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this, but this can be done in the older version of PowerPoint also. So let's begin the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color. For that, right mouse click, go to format background and I'm going to choose a black color here. If you want any other black or dark colors, you can choose. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose the oval shape. Draw the oval shape by holding the shift key, maybe this much size. Shape outline, no outline and shape fill. You can fill this with gray color. Press Ctrl D to keep it aside for the time being. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one rectangle draw a rectangle small rectangle here at the top shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in so you can see here i can just make it somewhat small and make sure that it is exactly in the center or if you are not sure then you can go to view enable the guides first make this as align center and align middle and this also i'm going to make it align center and I'm going to make it somewhat up like this and then I'm going to choose a gradient fill for this now gradient fill by default it will have four because I have used before like this that's the reason it is coming so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the first stop I'm going to give some gray color the second stop I'm going to give a white and the third stop I'm going to give again somewhat light color all right then I'm going to add one hollow circle, select the hollow circle, hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight uh, circle here and then you can reduce the width and then I'm going to select this, sorry I'm going to select this and make it gradient also and shape outline, make it no outline and hold the shift key, reduce the size and again put it exactly in the center, alright. And then here, let me just zoom out and I'm going to add one more line, okay. From the this area, I'm going to make it till top. Sorry, let me just select the line, go to insert shapes, select the line. You can see here from here till up, you can hold the shift key also so that to get a perfect straight line. And shape outline, I'm going to increase the weight, maybe three points. And this also you can make it as a gradient line. All right, the gradient line, again, four stops are there. I'm going to delete one stop. The first stop, I'm going to make it gray. The second stop, I'm going to make it white. And the third stop, I'm going to make it gray again. All right, so if you see here, it looks something like this. Let me just remove the guides. All right, and if you feel that this is too much, uh, wide you can reduce also now our uh, basic uh, this idea bulb is ready what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with some gradient color and it should glow also so you remember we have taken a copy I'm just going to make some gradient fill for this so any color of your choice you can do it so let me just select the gradient fill because we have used before that's the reason the three options are coming and you can just change the direction also whichever direction you want for example i need like this direction so first let me just select this one colors more colors 
you can choose any color of your choice maybe i'm going to share like maybe pink okay or dark color first and then i'm going to select somewhat lighter color okay and here i'm going to make more lighter color okay more light pink and click okay so you can see here uh, the gradient fill and if you want you can just adjust it also if you want more darker and more lighter at the top you can make it and one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this again and i'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size then go to the effects and under soft edges i'm going to make it maybe 28 or 29 all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this put it here and then go to format send this to back all right something like this okay so i'm just going to make it like a glow effect here and go to insert shapes i'm going to add one more oval shape draw oval shape like this shape outline no outline shape fill make it white and you can go to the effects increase the soft edges all right you can see here it gives you somewhat a glow effect here and then i'm just going to place it like this and all these things i'm going to select press ctrl g to group it bring it exactly on top of this all right let me just zoom in or you can just like this all right and then select this one these three things also let me just zoom out a little bit and i'm going to select this three press ctrl g to group it and bring to front all right so it looks something like this you can see here so the my first option is ready i can just select this one and i can just move it here okay and then i can press ctrl d to duplicate i can add the second option here and press ctrl d i can add the third option and depending on my requirement i can just go and change the color so once this is done what i can do is i can insert the text box here i'm just going to say idea 01 because it is black you cannot see let me just make it white center align if you want you can make it bold and go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one this also i'm going to make it white justify reduce the size and put it exactly here so this both i'm going to group it Control g Control d to duplicate so this is my idea number two and this is my idea number three all right so just make sure that it is properly aligned so this is idea number three this is idea number two all right so once this is done the last thing which we need to do is the animation part now close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and remember that we have already grouped this one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the animation appear okay so if i play when i click it comes like this all right and then this one i'm going to add animation more entrance effect you can add any animation of your choice let me just select the stretch click ok and it should start from the top and this should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it's gray color when i click it comes glows and then the text will come here so i'm now going to use the animation painter click on second then this animation painter applied here then i'm going to make it third and then this also i'm just going to copy the animation so you can see here all it's uh, the three uh, bulbs are there the idea bulbs when i click it will open the the first idea with glow and then when i click it will show me the second and then the third 